What's up guys? This is part 3 of the weekly vlog now. Um, I am Bear Force still. Uh, so links in the description for the last one. So yeah, I went on a cruise this weekend uh, to celebrate my grandpa's uh, 75th birthday. Uh, I was editing the videos now uh, to check some things because well I haven't got the time during the cruise. Um, so we were my grandpa, my mother, my father, me. That's one side of the well, the the family tree. Um, then we had my uncle, two of his sons, and his girl. Yeah, let's say his girl. So two cousins of mine was there. Uh, really fun. Uh, I I didn't know like oh shit what what are we going to do? What are we going to talk about? But it worked out really fine. No problem at all. So we went down. Uh, the cruise left about. Uh, uh, what was it? 9 uh, 7 30 in the evening or something. Uh, so yeah, we just went to eat pretty much straight away. Um, it's a buffet. What was a buffet? The food was. Well, some of my friends who haven't been. Oh, my cousins who really haven't been on a cruise like that before they went like oh the food wasn't the really good it was just the same pretty much the day after I'm like yeah it is like that that's how they're doing it on the ship it's easier for them to just store everything they got like the same thing day after day after day it was my grandpa's day on Friday two days ago which was the 22nd 24th of uh, Ju June, June, so we went on a cruise to celebrate him. Uh, first, we were planning on taking him to the Czech Republic because his lady friend is coming from there and visiting her parents and everything, uh, parents, sisters, siblings. Uh, but he broke his hip, or yeah, he fell when he was working. He's still working, 75 years old. He fell, he broke his leg uh, pretty high up uh, towards the hip, so they replaced the hip or the, you know, the kind of ball thingy, I don't know really what it's called in English, uh, hip ball, I don't know. Uh, so they replaced it, um, so he wasn't able to go there, and therefore we had been planning on going to Czech Republic to surprise visit him, and we instead went on a cruise. Yes, we did. Really fun. Really, really fun to do that. Uh, since I haven't like spending any time with my uncle, with uh, first time I met his new girlfriend and my cousins, I pretty much never meet. Uh, even though they are some, well, some of my favorite cousins. It's a shame I kind of never meet them more than I do. But that's how life is. And, and especially one of them, uh, the youngest one, since he's living with his mother, uh, more or less, that's in another city. So him I only met like three, I think this was like the third time during the past five years. Then I'm counting on the time five years ago when I met him, when my grandpa had his 70th birthday. So I, I'm not meeting them very often. It's a shame, uh, but uh, yeah, that's life. But we had a blast. It was to the city of Turku, uh, and uh, one of my uh, cousin was joking about that all the time. Not that we are going to this, as we call it in Sweden, Obo, Obo. But they were going, oh yeah, we're going to Turk, Turku, 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 all the time. Uh, but no, no, we're not going to Obo. We're going to Turku. Really fun. Um, and hanging with them, it, it was a blast. So they, both them and I, was worried like, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? What are we even supposed to do? But it worked out fun. We just talked, we chilled, had a drink. Uh, it was a blast. They went have a tax-free shop um, since the island between Sweden and Finland, Oland. I don't know what you call it. So whenever 
you're traveling from Sweden to Finland, you can have a tax free if the boat is stopping by at that place, which all boats are doing now. Before the EU, the European Union thingy, you could go pretty much everywhere to have tax free. Uh, you could go to Estonia, you could go directly to Riga, Latvia, pretty much everywhere, uh, and just have a tax free. But after the European Union goddamn stuffy thingy about the tax free thingy, so they changed it, so and that island voted against that change. They got it right. And so they they had got tax free stuff. So that's why pretty much every ship are going there first, just so they can sell tax free stuff legally. At, at the Baltic Sea. So they got really cheap uh, alcohol, they got really cheap uh, tobacco stuff, like uh, the Swedish thing snooze, it's some black thingy you stop up right here, you know, under your lip, um, between your li lips and your teeth, and tobacco, smoking, just uh, normal cigarettes. Whiskey, really expensive, like, uh, I don't know, through three and a half thousand euros for 70 centiliters or something was the most expensive I think I saw. Didn't take any photos, sorry about that. My friends put some up on their like Instagram and stuff, or well, my cousin actually, but he's my friend too. So, but I, I'm not gonna use it because, well, I haven't get like approval, I haven't asked him to do it, so I'm not gonna do it. But I went to the tax free and I, I'm, I really like, you know, uh, the Malibu um, coconut rum. I really like the taste of it if you mix it with like um, pineapple juice. So I got one. Malibu Black. It's it's 35 percent. It's one liter too. You, I don't know if you can see. Goddamn lamp. It's it's really dark. Well here it, it's black, but the, I, I, it's really dark. If I go up, you can see the bottle is the, the bottle is normal, but the rum is really black. Normal Malibu, it's like clear. It's clear like water, pretty much. This one, nope. I like the taste of it. That's why I bought it, and I saw like, oh wow, they got like one liter. That's stronger. So that means my friends can have some too. And like, oh no, not a lady drink. Oh, it's on 21%. Oh, bitch, please. This is strong, like strongest Jägermeister master now. Yeah, it's Jäger, bitch. Don't talk about girly drinks. I drink for the taste, not for the alcohol. Which is why I take like pretty, really little Malibu and rest pineapple juice. Just to get the taste that I want. So the cruise was really fun. We had a blast uh, drinking perhaps a bit too much. Normally I'm just drinking socially, which I did here too. Only socially. Socially. Never other time. Like I'm not drinking like anything at home. Unless now when I got the pina colada, I'm like, I don't know, taking one every other day or something. But I'm. Uh, I got most of them left, just saying for like, if any of my friends is throwing a party or anything, I can like, yeah, I can take like one or two of those and bring it with me, and it is fine, it's fine. The cruise, really fun, uh, ship called Cilia Galaxy, Cilia Line uh, owned by Talink, uh, so, well, it, it's called Talink Cilia Line actually, Talink Cilia something, uh, Cilia Galaxy. It's a, it's a good ship, but I, I were expecting more younger people that were like on a party, you know, to like blow their head with this kind of stuff. But it wasn't. There were like mo most of the people were like Japanese. Yeah, hey, when we were getting there, I was like, hey, I, I gotta warn you that there are a lot of Japanese on these boats. But holy shit, I never seen so many Japanese on a boat or anywhere before. It's extremely crazy how many they were, according to me. 
just so many everywhere too. Couldn't go anywhere without seeing like Japanese people. It's it it was what did wow. they expect? But almost felt like I was going to Japan. Some Russians too. No, it it, it was a lot of people on that boat. It can take like three thousand persons, two point eight thousand. And uh, I never seen that a lot of people on a boat any time actually. And another time when we went on a midsummer cruise, it was like completely empty. We were almost the only people on the boat, my family. So the, it, it something has happened. Um, but without the like the Japanese, it would it would be I don't know at least several hundreds people left or less on the boat. And Midsummer. Uh, I don't know if you all are fam familiar to that thing. It's a Swedish, Finnish, Norway, Nor Norwegian, perhaps even Danish. I'm not sure. It's a yeah, it's a thing like that uh, up here in the Nordic. We celebrate that uh, like the summer is here. I don't I don't really know why we celebrate it. I have to be if I have to be honest. Uh, but we put up like a. If I'm gonna be completely true, it's like a giant penis of birch with two rings on it, so you can like call it a yeah something. Uh, yeah, so from the ground and then we dance around it and we sing songs. We are like uh, little frogs, yeah, jumping around, pretending to be little frogs and stuff like that. It's not very traditional for me. No. I've never been into that actually. It's more like the people from um, the the capital, Stockholm, that are like they are coming up to my to my region. I don't know. It's traffic chaos. Like the entire Friday when when it's happening because they're all going up. Listen in my. Uh, in my state to visit the most attractive places for to celebrate midsummer and it's a lot of people I don't know how many thousand cars that are driving by on that day but it's insane midsummer it's fun something to celebrate if you're abroad you got one more reason to drink your head off uh, during the one week and more this year or any year but I don't know. It's extremely Nordic, I think. Didn't see anything on Twitter about that one. Happy Midsummer. So I think I'm pretty alone. But it's going to be darker now every day. That's great, because that that's the time the Swedish summer is beginning. It was like 30 degrees outside yesterday. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, anyway, uh, that's everything for this week. Uh, not sure what's going to happen next one. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I hope you enjoy this, and Bear Force out!